What's your favorite color M&M? For me personally, I like the blue because blue is my favorite color, but that doesn't stop me from eating the entire bag. The inside is my favorite part, the chocolate. And because I love the inside, I don't discriminate against the other colors. You best believe I'm going to eat those too. Today, I'm going to talk about the growing issue of racism lately. You see it all over the news media and social media. This is becoming a problem. On August 28, 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave a speech that every American citizen is familiar with, the I Have a Dream speech. The most profound statement he made in his speech was, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these to be evident that all men are created equal. That last part, all men are created equal. Isn't that the beauty of our great nation, the land of opportunity with no bounds? Although our country has come a long way since this speech, we seem to be a nation no longer united, but divided, all because of the color of our skin. There is so much bad press these days, exploiting and exacerbating racism by sharing news media that seems to be one-sided and is making it out to be that whites hate blacks. And I am here to tell you that is just not the case. Riots are breaking out and we are attacking each other instead of loving one another. This is just not okay. As Americans, we need to realize that we are not defined by the color of our skin but by our individuality. The choices that we make are what define us. Race has nothing to do with it. People of all races and all ethnicities commit crimes every single day. People of all races and all ethnicities help someone every single day. Our decisions, good or bad, are what speak of our individual character, not the color of our skin. We are all born into this world without prejudice in our hearts. Judging others for their color and not their character is something that has been taught somewhere down the line and that is just not okay. The families of the victims in the Carolina church shooting have set the greatest example I have seen in the news in a long time. All of the major news outlets have covered the story where the families of the victims who are all African American people have expressed their forgiveness towards the young Caucasian shooter. They have expressed that love is greater than hate and that love will win every single time. Today, my friends, I ask of you to look within yourself, realize that your heart is biologically no different than the person sitting next to you. Someday, a paramedic or a doctor of a different ethnicity, then you may save your life or your family member's life. Would you still blame that entire ethnicity for the evil in this world? It's time to stop allowing the news media and what we read on social media to dictate how we feel about individuals. Find the love in your heart. Realize that people of all races commit heinous and unspeakable acts every single day and please stop blaming an entire race of people for the mistake that one individual person makes. I just want to end this by saying that the color of your skin makes no difference to me and if mine matters to you then that speaks of your character not mine. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream that one day we would all be treated as equals. Well, I have a dream that one day we will all be colorblind and it will no longer be a nation of my people or your people because in the end, we're all just people.